Well, welcome to all of you who are interested in hearing a little bit about the Medical Radiation Sciences Program. This program is dedicated to the training of the next generation of medical radiation technologists. Now, these are individuals who are responsible for the safe delivery of uh, and use of radiation for both diagnostic procedures, such as x-rays, CT scans, ultrasound as well, um, as well as the delivery of therapeutic doses of radiation to people like cancer patients. And these are our radiation therapists. So if this is something that you think you might be interested in down the road as a career, stick around with me and we'll talk about it a little bit more. Now, the Medical Radiation Sciences Program is a four-year integrated program run jointly between the Faculty of Health Science at Mohawk College and the Faculty of Science at McMaster University. It's a unique program where all of the skills training is done by the professionals who know how to do that best at Mohawk College. And a lot of the theoretical foundations are established by university professors at well, McMaster University. For those of you who successfully complete your four years, you will receive both an advanced diploma from Mohawk College, as well as a bachelor degree from the Faculty of Science. Now, you may be a little bit interested in how to get into the program. Now, a lot of you who are reviewing this right now probably have already been accepted and are just coming to uh, try to get a little bit of background. For those of you who are only just still searching around for a program, in order to get into the Medical Radiation Sciences program, we require six uh, grade 12 courses, uh, university prep courses, including English, advanced functions, calculus and vectors, biology, and chemistry. So, and the best of your other remaining um, marks. You'll notice that we don't require physics from you in order to get into the program. That's because we're gonna teach you all the physics that you need to know once you get here. Now, the Medical Radiation Sciences Program is a direct entry program. That is to say, if you are interested in taking medical radiation sciences, then you should apply to it in first year. It is extremely challenging to try to transfer into medical radiation sciences from somewhere else after first year. Our projected intake is about 120 for the fall as well. When you actually get into first year, your course load is going to consist of a number of courses common with all of your medical radiation science colleagues um, that are really meant to prepare you for a future as a healthcare professional. And that includes things that you might expect, maybe one or two that you don't. Anatomy and physiology should seem pretty obvious. A lot of medical imaging is actually physics. So we teach you some physics. We also teach you some of the mathematics that go along with those physics so that you can understand it some basic biology. In medicine, we talk an awful lot about evidence-based medicine. So we provide you with an inquiry course in your first year in order to learn really about how to ask questions about evidence and how to present uh, what you find out about, about, those, um, about that evidence. We teach you a little bit of pathology and we also take the idea of professionalism very seriously in the program. Um, and we talk a lot about that, as well as what it is like to belong to a professional college, which one day you will be. It's also your first opportunity to get a brief introduction to the, street, the three streams that we have available here at Mohawk College and McMaster University. Those are our ultrasound, radiography, which is diagnostic x-ray imaging, and radiation therapy. Well, your home for the next few years is the Institute of, High, of Applied Health Sciences. It is located on the south edge of campus, uh, not too far from the hospital, and really is integrated with everything down at McMaster University. So this really is um, Mohawk's home base on the McMaster campus and will, where you'll be spending most of your time starting in second year. 
something that I really do want to note for you is that there is no going back and forth between Mohawk's um, Hamilton Mountain campus and the McMaster University campus. All of your courses will be held down on the McMaster University campus. So everything is kept quite compact. The Institute for Applied Health Sciences really is a self-contained school down on the McMaster campus with a fully kitted out set of classrooms for all of our students, a dedicated library for the health sciences programs that are run jointly between McMaster University and Mohawk College. Um, it's one of two health sciences libraries on campus, and it's kind of unique because we don't just take books out of there. We can also take out things such as anatomical models or uh, blood pressure cuffs, depending on you know, what you're being trained for. You also have access to all of the libraries that are available through Mohawk College, as well as McMaster University um, through this library. The practical skills labs at the Institute for Applied Health Sciences are second to none, really. Our ultrasound lab was upgraded in 2017 with six brand new ultrasound instruments. Our radiography facilities are second to none in Canada, are certainly the largest and with state-of-the-art equipment. We also have a CT scanner on site in order to practice those skills, which is really important for when you're going out and actually getting into the clinical setting during your clinical practice terms. Our radiation therapy group also has a top-notch uh, radiation therapy simulator on site. We have an imaging laboratory, our picture archiving and communication system that again has also been very recently updated with a number of brand new networked workstations that support both our radiography and sonography streams. We also have a learning resource center in order to support our students available on site. A fully functional and equipped cafeteria with uh, all sorts of delectables and eh, above average coffee as well. It's not a Tim Hortons anymore, but I'm sure you'll survive without it. Finally, a student lounge to go and spend some time in and relax after probably a very long day spent in your skills labs. Um, starting in second year, you're gonna be spending a lot of time in this building, so I'm sure the student lounge will be a place that you'll want to get to know. Assuming you're successful in completing your first year at McMaster University, you will be entering your medical specializations starting in second year. Those streams are ultrasonography, radiography, and radiation therapy. Selection into these streams is based purely on your marks. So if you want to get into something in particular, make sure you do really well in first year. And uh, when the opportunity comes around, make sure you rank that specialization as number one on your list. Now, let's take a few seconds to go through and talk a little bit about each of these three professions. So let's start by talking a bit about our ultrasonography stream. Sonographers are medical radiation technologists who use ultrasound to image inside the human body. Ultrasound probes create high frequency sound waves using specialized crystals that are projected into the body and reflect from tissue interfaces. The reflected sound intensity is translated into images such as fetuses in pregnant women or blood flow around the heart. Sonographers are certified through Sonography Canada. The ultrasound stream will usually have about 35 students enrolled in it. We'll move into our other diagnostic imaging stream, radiography. Our radiography stream is the largest by far with approximately 65 students per year enrolled. Radiographers are medical radiation technologists who use x-rays to see through the human body, and they're certified through the Canadian Association of Medical Radiation Technologists. As x-rays pass through the body, they're preferentially absorbed by bone, giving us an excellent view of the bony anatomy within a person. Now, in order to see a full 3D picture of the human body, 
an imaging technique like computed tomography, or CT, is necessary. And it just so happens that we have one of these uh, devices in our skills labs uh, so that you'll be able to learn how to operate this crucial piece of diagnostic imaging equipment to prepare you for your career as a medical radiation technologist. Our smallest stream, radiation therapy, usually has about 20 students enrolled. Radiation therapists are medical radiation technologists who have some training in diagnostic imaging, but primarily they use high energy x-rays to treat cancer patients. They deliver lethal amounts of radiation to people in a very controlled way in order to ablate their tumors. Like radiography specialists, radiation therapists are also certified through the Canadian Association of Medical Radiation Technologists. So let's focus and talk a little bit about what your progression through McMaster University might look like. So a couple of things I want to draw your attention to right away. First is that you're only going to get one last summer vacation before, uh, before you start your career later on in life. And that's at the end of first year. After that, your summers are, well, gone. Now, don't get me wrong, we want to give you at least a little bit of a break. So there are gaps um, of a couple of weeks in between each of the sets of terms. The other thing I'm going to want to focus on here are these, thing, these terms in green labeled as clinical. What does that mean exactly? Well, these clinical terms or clinical practicum are meant for you to go out into community hospitals, cancer centers, um, imaging clinics um, for you know, 11 to 13 weeks after the end of second year. And in your fourth year, you'll have two terms of approximately four months each. Now, it's important to note that these are not co-op terms. These are courses that you're signing up for. And that's really important. You'll be paying tuition, just like any other course. Um, the main difference is, is that you are going to be learning out in a healthcare setting. You'll be working under actual healthcare professionals. And you'll have to be work out in the workforce for 37 and a half hours per week and meet specified performance requirements in order to pass these clinical practicum courses. Right? A good way to think about this is that they are really very similar to internships. Now, there is no vacation or scheduled breaks other than statutory holidays built into these. So what about afterwards? Well, our students, when they finish up, tend to work mainly in the hospital and cancer clinic setting, depending on what um, streams that they come through. Most of our diagnostic uh, imaging technologists will go into the hospital setting. Some of them will end up in uh, private diag community diagnostic clinics, others, you know, affiliated with doctor's offices and such. Almost all of our radiation therapists end up in cancer clinics. Some will actually go off into private industry and work in sales or, uh, or application specialists. And you'll even get the occasional graduate who will come back around and come back and teach the next next generation of medical radiation technologists. We have a few people um, working with the program at Mohawk College who came through that program when it first opened up. So I'm hoping a lot of you who are here already have made the decision that, yeah, medical radiation sciences is a program that you're truly interested in. If you haven't, well, I want you to consider the following. Are you a people person? Do you actually like meeting new people all the time? Um, can you look people in the eye and talk with them and give them very clear instructions? Um, a lot of imaging procedures and even in radiation therapy, there's a lot of directing people in to put them into the correct positions for the procedures. And you meet a lot of people. Can you work well in a team? All of these professions require some degree of um, 
of teamwork, whether it be your immediate peer group um, with multiple people operating equipment or um, interacting with physicians, nurses, other healthcare professionals. Or do you consider yourself to be a responsible person? Can, do you hold yourself accountable for the things that you do? Are you able to handle constructive criticism throughout your time at McMaster University? And especially when you're out doing your clinical practice, you're going to be getting a lot of feedback. Some of that feedback may not be the easiest to handle if you've gone and made a mistake. Well, what we really want you to do is to take that criticism to heart because all that we're trying to do is to make you a better future medical radiation technologist. Do you enjoy working with the latest and greatest technology? Um, are you a very hands-on individual? Because there's a lot of really um, neat things coming down the pipe in all of our uh, different fields. Can you deal with the sight, and, sight of blood and a lot of the smells that the human body is capable of making? As a healthcare professional, you're probably going to see it all. Are you comfortable working intimately with not just patients, uh, but also with your fellow students? A lot of what we do is simulate how a lot of these treatments uh, and imaging procedures are done. So there's a lot of moving people around, physically moving people around and positioning them. So you need to be comfortable touching people and being touched, of course, in an appropriate way. If you can answer yes to all of these things, then I think what you'll find is that a career in the medical radiation sciences, while challenging, can also be very rewarding. So I wanna thank you for your attention. And hopefully this gives you at least a little bit of a taste for the Medical Radiation Sciences Program. There are plenty of other resources available on our website, and you can always get in touch with us here at McMaster University. Thank you.